Yeah, guys, we're looking at Stella. XLM crypto, crypto, Stella. Looking at the last time it was up, 3rd of July, in looking at the week chart, it was uh, 19, 19 cents. And since then, basically, it's been going down. As you can see, when we squeeze the chart, there you go, from July. 2023 you can see it's been going down uh, reached a low point there but then it was there was a low point back in June 2023 before it rose there was a low point there then it rose back down now it's rising a bit now but you can see Basically, the low point there, December 2022, almost touched there again, low point, low point, rose up. And then down again and up. So it's been down for a while now. It's been down quite a while from when it was up here, way up here. Uh, probably a lot of you have been averaging down on the way down. And I didn't average down so much. I bought on the high, I'm not going to lie. Probably mentioned it in one of my other videos. I, I can't remember where I bought, somewhere way up there. Maybe around 60 cents. <laughs> but I did average down on the way down around but i've got an average now at 32 so i'm way i'm way um under basically I'm losing two thirds but anyway I, I i did lower my average from way up here but i decided not to put any more money in because i just couldn't trust it what's happening to crypto overall you know, with uh, Bitcoin being centralized, etc. I mean, some cryptos are shot up. Some sort of, like, you look at some charts, like Solana. I, mean, I don't know. Anyway, it just depends. I've, I, I, I've got other cryptos, holdings, other cryptos. But overall, as I say, they've been down forever. You can see here, like... It's a dire situation. But then again, you know, when it was up here, it fell even lower than what it is now. Um, back in 2020. And um, did recover. So I never say never. But still, you know, it's been down for so long, you just wonder what's going to like will it ever go up what could you know cause it to go up the crypto market as a whole this xlm stella is obviously if it's going to go up back to 60 cents or higher then who knows it could be another five years if it, if at all but obviously, like with, um, as I said, with, uh, it's the 24th today, as you can see, 24th August 2024. It's made a move. Um, as I said, what was I, what was I getting back to what I was saying? Yeah. As I say, like, what, you know, centralizing Bitcoin has ruined the crypto market as a whole. And then with all these new cryptos coming on the market, that's damaging as well. well obviously, some of them are going to go up and this and that, but it's just pump and dumps, pyramids. But the thing is, all right, a lot of these top cryptos under Bitcoin, they're not really going up when 
the price of Bitcoin goes up, covered this in another video, when Bitcoin made an all time high a few months back, most of the other cryptos, they didn't follow suit. They didn't rock it up. So this is like, this is this bad situation, if you know what I mean. But anyway, like it's just an update about the price. We're gonna go on the one day chart. There you can see each candlestick represents a day. There's 24th, there's 23, etc. It's been making a move up, but it's done that before, then fell back down. And you see it here, made a move up, then back down. So, I mean, it was really down. You can see on this chart, up, it was really down back here, you know, the 5th of August. You could have bought, you could have bought for that price there. You know, and um, seven and a half. Now you would have you would have made a quarter. Like if he was cashing out now, it was ten. You would have made a basically a quarter. But as I say, like it would have been a, probably a good time for me to lower my average. But I'd have to pump in a lot more money. You know, when you've got a lot of money in. A, already you have to kind of like put a lot more in in order for that average to get lower you know anyway as i said i decided not to overall so i'm not going to be tempted by these low prices not with the current situation of crypto the way it's heading covered it in, in another video if you look about that but as I say, like that's the situation. This is still on the day chart. Squeezing the chart here, you can see the low points were July 5th. And as I said, 5th of August. So 5th and the 5th, July and August. As I say, like looking at this chart, it could well just fall back down in September. Probably hit another low of about seven and a half, you know, again if it's going to go back down because it's been down forever as i say like you know to get even even right you know to get to my average just looking at the um go back to the week chart i've got it down to 32 right so the last time it was 32 you know to get my money back even it's basically November 2021. So you can see, you know, I bought much higher, but my average, 32 is my average. We're looking at, you know, three years, almost three years I've been down. Well, I've been down longer, but that's how long it's been down, basically, from that average. If you, if you go back to the peaks, you know, you're looking at May. It's over three years. It's over three years now. I mean, for instance, like when this was up here, February 2018, to get back, it's just under three years to get back to that level. It took just under three years. So if that pattern was to repeat, then you, you would expect this price to start going up with um, this particular price action, this particular chart, XLM. You would expect it now to make a move, you know, but how long more can it hold hold back at these low prices? six months, one year. I mean, if it, if, it, if it stays down for like, you know, another year, year and a half, but certainly if it stays under, under this level here, you know, 20 cents, if it stays under 20 cents for like another two years, let's say, you know that, 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 that it's damaged. 
you know that you're holding damaged goods. All right, yeah, it's good for you. You know, if you buy it, it drops back down to seven and a half and you hold it and it goes up to, you know, I don't know what it is now, 10, 11, whatever, maybe 15 and you sell it. Yeah, good for you, swing traders, let's say. But if you're, you know, if you bought a lot higher and you're looking for to get your money back or a bit of profit, it's like taking forever. So anyway, guys, this is just a quick update uh, about uh, XLM.